Good morning, Year 4. So you've had a chance to read the first half, the first half of this chapter and also had a look at the vocabulary that we picked out. Uh, some really good words there, tantalisingly, hazy, inexorably and vestige. So some really powerful words for you uh, to have a chance to learn. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at the questions. So I've got my book ready here. Um, I've written the title of the book we're looking at. So it's Kentucky's Kingdom and also the chapter. And I've also written my learning objective. So it's to select and retrieve information. So I'm going to look at the first question here. And it says on page 88, the author writes, the orangutan scratched its face nonchalantly now, which word could you replace nonchalantly with? You've got four to choose from. You've got hurriedly, naughtily, gently and casually. So you need to understand um, what the orangutan, how it's behaving in this part of the book. And you need to understand the meaning of those words. So I've just had a look at where it is on page 88. OK, so if we get it here. So there we go. So. This is when the orangutan sneaks up onto Michael. He said, he sat back down and looked at me with mild interest for a while. Then he looked away, scratched his face nonchalantly and sloped off, stopping once to glance back at me over his shoulder before moving on into the shadow of the trees and away. So we need to think, how is the orangutan behaving? So. Is he rushing? So, would we be able to use the word hurriedly? The orangutan scratched its face hurriedly. No, it doesn't sound right, does it? What about naughtily? Is the orangutan behaving in a very naughty way? The orangutan scratched its face naughtily. No, I don't think that works either. What about gently? The orangutan scratched its face gently. It might have been doing it gently. So we could possibly consider that one. What about this word, casually? If you do something in a casual way, um, you're kind of not really bothered. So if you're casual about something, you're not being proper, um, you're not being smart. So that's also one that we could use. So really here, you've got a choice between, I'd say, these two words, and whichever one is the best fit for how the orangutan is behaving. And what I've done is I've written the sentence out just to check for myself that it works. So I've written, the orangutan scratched its face, and then I'm either gonna choose, I think, gently or casually. I need to look closer at those words to see which is the best fit. On question two, We've got here which descriptive device is used in the sentence on page 90. And the sentence is, the only place to cool off was the sea. So I spent most of that day lolling lazily in the water. You've got three to choose from, three answers. So is there a simile in that sentence? Or is there a power of three? Or is there alliteration? Now let's think about these three. This is a little bit of retrieval work for you, remembering how you've used descriptive devices before. So a simile, we would want, uh, we would need to see the word like. So uh, the C was like a mirror. So that's what we're looking for, where we're comparing two things. Our power of three, we're looking for three adjectives in there that we could use, that could that are describing. So if we said, the, the sea was calm, blue and cool. So we've got three words that we're describing it. And when we look at alliteration, we're looking for two words uh, that follow each other, which start with the same sound. So have another closer look at that sentence and see which one of those you think it is. And you only need to write a one word answer for that. Now, question three is a little bit of prediction from you. So what danger do you think the old man is warning Michael of? He tells him to get out of the sea. He's telling him there's danger. But what do you think the danger is? So that one is a little bit of prediction from you. See what you think Kensuke might be warning him of. OK, if you have any trouble with any of the questions, please message. We're happy to help and we'll help you to find your answers as well. All right. Good luck.